All right, guys, back in the garage, Monday, April 13th, and another nice day out today. Anyway, we've got the uh, car, the 60 covered back up with the covers and some plastic, and we've got the frame covered back up. So, uh, true to my word, we're going to start working back on the engine, and we're going to get that uh, ready for paint. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do, actually, is clean up this bottom um, edge just with a, a scraper and just get all the old gasket or gasket uh, residue off. So I'm gonna put the new gasket on and we'll get a good seal. So uh, we'll do that first and then we'll flip it over and then we'll continue to scrub this down. Um, it's gotta be degreased again uh, a couple times. Uh, see some bits that I've missed. So uh, we'll do that and uh, then we'll scuff it up with the Scotch-Brite and then we'll get it into paint. That's the plan, so that might take a few days but uh, we're gonna start working back on it. All right guys. All right, guys, last look at the engine block before it goes into paint. may not look like much, but I spent about uh, probably about six hours scrubbing this thing down uh, and sanding it and scotch brighting it and uh, degreasing it, and it's a lot better than it was. Not perfect. Hopefully, uh, paint will stick to it. I've got it the best I can anyway. So, uh, yeah, we'll just about to spray some paint, so I thought I'd take a quick, uh, quick video of it before we do that. So there she is. And the next time you look at look at it, it'll be uh, nice and shiny and black. All right, guys. All right, guys. Not sure how well you're gonna be able to see it, but the engine is now painted. So we've got uh, three coats of black on there. So I think it looks okay. Of course, we masked off the areas that uh, needed to be masked off. So uh, I've got the timing chain cover inside. I just need to get replace that timing chain cover seal which I have coming in the mail this week. So uh, once we get that new seal in, then we'll throw the timing cover back on. I do have the oil pan done inside as well. Um, I think I have an oil pan gasket, to, so technically we could put the oil pan back on. Um, and I'm waiting for a few other gaskets as well. So um, we're not gonna be able to go too much further on this engine, but I thought I'd just give you a quick look of it uh, while it's uh, here drying. It's almost dry now, actually. I'm gonna actually, uh, Probably just move it over into the corner to get it out of the way and let it dry probably overnight before I get uh, into touching it. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. It looks a heck of a lot better than it did. I might have to dig up some uh, before and after pictures of it uh, uh, for comparison purposes. But uh, yeah, I think it looks good. So that's it for now, guys. We'll come back uh, when we make some progress on something else. Hey guys, I uh, went into basement and dug into my parts bin and uh, found that I actually have uh, a couple of gasket sets actually for the TR3. So we're going to dig into what I've got and I've actually got a really nice uh, oil pan gasket here. I actually have two of them. Um, they're both pan uh, gaskets but this one seems to be a little bit more substantial than the one that came in this kit. So and that's a, uh, that's a bottom end uh, kit basically. It's even got the uh, figure eight gaskets for the uh, piston liners. Um, anyway. We're going to go ahead with this uh, nice looking, really nice looking oil pan gasket. So I've got the oil pan under here and if you recall from the previous video, that's all been cleaned and painted as well. So we'll uh, get that back on the car. We're going to dig out the uh, oil pan bolts. Uh, they're stored away somewhere so we have to find those first. And then we'll uh, stick the oil pan back on. All right, uh, one thing I forgot to mention. It's the uh, Toronto Blue Jays uh, home opener tonight. I'm quite the big baseball fan, so I'm really enjoying uh, being back out in the garage with the uh, ball games on the TV. So uh, go Jays, go. World Series. All right, guys, we got the oil pan back on. We're happy with that. We had uh, one little stubborn bolt, but uh, everything else went on fine. So that looks good. Another job, uh, another job down. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, it looks good. So uh, I think we're going to stop there for the night. I haven't torqued those bolts yet, and I know that's pretty important to not over torque these bolts on the oil pan. So uh, we'll get the torque wrench out probably tomorrow. Um, for the rest of the night, I'm probably just going to go through the gasket set and see what's usable. Like I said, I'm still waiting for a, a parts order to come in the mail this week, so uh, I know for, for sure I'm going to need a timing seal, so that's in the mail. So I won't be able to get the timing cover on until I get that. And uh, I know I have some exhaust and intake manifold gaskets as well in the mail. So I won't be able to get that on either. So um, it's getting a little bit slow 
because uh, I am waiting on stuff. So, uh, and we'll make the best of it, and we'll do what we can. All right, guys. I just took a look through my gasket pack, and uh, so we do have a timing uh, chain uh, cover gasket. Uh, we've got, I believe that's the fuel pump. This is the oil um, oil filter. Uh, this is water pump, and this is water pump to block. I have no idea what this little guy is. Maybe somebody will know what that's for. I haven't come across that. But uh, anyway, so that's good to know I've got those, although, like I said, I think I've ordered uh, extras of those, so I'll have one for the next TR3 I build. Anyway, uh, I think we'll upload this, guys, and uh, we'll get out here tomorrow, and we'll continue on doing what we can do. All right, guys.